Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Project 10 Uses. I'm still in love with this project. I'm still enjoying it. I am doing this project in collaboration with a bunch of other people. Their names will be linked down below so you could check them out. Some of them are on Instagram, some of them are on YouTube, but check them out. They are all good project panners. The whole point of this project is to work on 10 products at a time, to use them 10 times, and to roll them out when you've achieved that goal. I have achieved that goal on two items for this month. That seems to be my average. In general, I hit the 10 use mark on about two products a month. I wish it was more, but I'm okay with two. Let me show you what those two products are first. First of all, I hit my goal on the 10 use mark for this Bite Beauty lip liner in the shade 036. I am wearing this now underneath the next product I'm going to talk about. It's just a nice brownie nude shade, nothing exciting about it, nothing wrong with it. It's a good staple for everyone to have in their makeup stash if you use lip liners. So, I actually used this 11 times and I currently do not have a lip liner in a project. I would love to put one in A to Z. I gotta look into that. So hopefully I will find a lip liner to pan this year. I'm ready to pan a lip liner. We'll see. The next item I hit the 10 use mark on is my Too Faced lip gloss. In, this is a Sweet Peach lip oil in the shade Papa Don't Peach. I really enjoyed using this lip oil. It is lovely. I have two of these. I wish I had more. I wish I was panning one of these. I kept thinking I should put this in a project. I wish I could fit it in. I don't know if I have space for it right now. I need to finish some older items that I've already put in other projects, but as the year goes on, if I can squeeze this into a project, I totally will, because I loved, every time I used this, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really like this product. Okay, let's talk about the products that are going to be rolling over into next month. My Cadillac or Nail Polish. I'm still only at three uses with this. I was really focusing in on a Deborah Lipman polish during the month of December. I wanted to use it up. I did use it up, it's gone. And I plan to do a lot of mayonnaise with this until I hit the 10 use mark. I'm not wearing it now. I decided to cheat on all my project polishes and put on this old CoverGirl nail polish. It's like a blue-brown. It's really old. I've been into duochromes for a really, really long time. But I'm going to get back to this with my next Manny and hopefully we'll start seeing some progress on this soon. Up next is Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K. I am now at the four use mark. I played around with this one time during the month of December, trying to find a way to make this work in conjunction with some of the lip products I had in my advent calendar during December. I still have not found a way to make this work, but I'm gonna keep trying to see if I can find a way to make this work. Wish me luck. We are at four uses for this, six more to go. I am at seven uses with this Gen Nude lipstick in Swank. This is a really nice color. It's kind of bold, so I don't always want to reach for it, but it's lovely and I have been enjoying it. I did get a few uses out of this in the last month and I should hit the 10 use mark by next month. I'm only at the three use mark for my MAC pigment in the shade Platinum. This is a beautiful pigment, nothing wrong with it. I just haven't been reaching for it. I was really playing around with the products I received in the advent calendar and over the last week I've really been working on the new eyeshadows that have rolled into new projects so this definitely got pushed to the back burner but I definitely want to play with this alongside some of the new shadows that are in my dude you pan my battleship project I think this could really play well with some of the purples so I'm looking forward to trying that out all right, let's talk about my Tarte eyeliner in the shade Hunter Green. I am wearing it today as a base for my outer, like the outer half of my eyelid. And in my waterline, I am now at the four use mark for this. I'm enjoying this pencil a lot. I'm really glad I rolled it in. It's pairing nicely with the other shade I have on my eyelid as I suspected it would. And it's just about time to sharpen it. You guys know how much I love sharpening pencils, so. I'm excited. The product I've been pairing with that eyeliner a lot is this J-Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in the shade Electra. 
It is a very, very light yellowy green, like a lime green shade. It's, it's really beautiful. I've really been enjoying this. I have hit the five use mark on this. Yeah, so we're halfway through using this. I did pat a little bit of eyeshadow on top of this today to kind of set it because I feel like sometimes this product does crease on me throughout the day, especially like in my crease. Um, so I wanna see if that helps it out a little bit. All right, there are two more products to talk about. I've used my Bite Beauty lip gloss four times now, six more to go. And I have used my Urban Decay, what is this called? Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner a total of three times. I thought I would use it a little bit more during the month of December, but it was fun the times that I did use it and I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep working on this in February. Wait till you see what I'm rolling into this project. Okay, because I hit the 10 use mark on two products, that means I get to roll two new products in. The first product that I wanna work on is another lip gloss or another lip oil. Mm. It might be a lip oil. Anyways, I'm in the mood for lip oils these days and I'm rolling in this Lancome one. I bought this on clearance from Ross. It's in the shade Wonder Melon. When I first saw these, I wanted them so bad. I was like obsessed with everything about this little packaging. But they were like $30, so I resisted. And then all of a sudden they showed up at Ross a while later. All right, so I'm really excited to work on this Lancome lip oil. I'm gonna use it 10 times. I don't think that'll be a problem at all. I'm really excited to start enjoying this. Um, I wanted it so bad, but I really haven't used it since I bought it, so. So now's the time. The other product I have decided to roll in for this next month is another glitter liner. This is an Ulta Beauty Glitter Liquid Liner in the shade Dang. And this was part of the Melissa Michelle Bling It On eyeshadow palette. It is gorgeous. There is no way my phone is going to pick up on how beautiful this product is, but it is literally holographic. It is gorgeous. And because it came inside of a palette, it is definitely the kind of thing that I tend to forget about and will sit there and go bad along with the palette. So I wanna pull this out, I wanna use it 10 times. I feel like January, February are the perfect times to play with a pink glittery eyeliner, very romantic. So this is the product I'm rolling in. All right guys, that is it for this update. I'm super excited to continue working on these 10 products to see how I can incorporate them into looks, to enjoy them, and to see how many products I can hit the 10 use mark on by next month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. My tooth is bothering me. Yeah. Want me to take it out for you? Not. Twisting. Oh, yeah. Its days are numbered, buddy. It's coming out. Oh, my gosh, Bob. And I can turn it all different signs of ways. Let me see. You can turn it backwards, forwards, every way you want. Oh, yeah. Right now it's sideways. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Trying to do the forwards. Ugh. Teeth. Wiggly teeth kind of creep me out. Why? I don't know. I remember being there. I remember being where you are right now with that little wiggly tooth in my mouth. It's, it's very exciting. You gotta show Mrs. Jesutis when you get to school today. I'm showing everybody. You should. <laughs> My tooth is hanging on one tip. Yeah. Yep, it's ready to come out. Just keep playing with it. <laughs> if it comes out during school, you get to write your name on the tooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, finish your breakfast.
still. <clears throat> Mom, my tooth is so little. It feels little? Yeah, if my tooth is the littlest, I can get $100 for having the littlest tooth. You think so? You think there's an extra prize for having the littlest tooth? Yes. Huh. We'll see about that. We'll see what the tooth fairy says about that. Finish your pancakes. Did it just come out? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just lost your first tooth. Oh. It came out. I smiled at first. Hold on, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's actually blood right Just there. Just a little. It'll it'll stop bleeding in a second. Oh my gosh. You just lost your first <laughs> buddy. Oh. There it is. Look at that itty bitty little baby tooth. Oh, I think the tooth fairy is coming tonight. <laughs> I got I win a win a prize. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm getting a little emotional. Cinnamon. Go look in the bathroom. See how you look. Wait, no, I'll hang on to this. We do not want to lose this. We'll put it right here. Where it'll be nice and safe. I can't believe I lost my first tooth. <laughs> I just hold on and then I fill out. Then it fell out. Okay, as soon as I'm done filming, I gotta take a picture of your new smile. Oh boy. That's very exciting. How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh how can I talk about makeup right now okay I really like my belt is it a relief to have it out yes it didn't hurt at all did it nope wow and <laughs> I, like cute this. I picked up like three of them what I can barely say every letter. Even L. -l, -l. It already stopped bleeding. <laughs> I can't even play with that wiggly tooth anymore. That feels so uncomfortable. <laughs> what a relief. All right, let me finish filming and then we'll take a picture of your new smile. <laughs> 